It's Wednesday the 13th of May. This is the news in 60 seconds. In today's Gulf Times, restaurants and cafes can resume takeaway services, meaning that now as well as offering home delivery, they can also hand over orders outside their premises. However, businesses within malls are not included and they are still only allowed to offer home delivery. Qatar joins South Korea, Canada, Denmark and Sierra Leone in a group launched yesterday to cooperate in the battle against COVID-19. Exchange houses which had to close on March 26 have reopened and are expecting a surge in business. Hamad Medical Corporation's ambulance service say they have seen an increase from around 700 calls a day before the COVID pandemic to around 1,000 calls a day currently, which represents a 30% increase in demand. If you're considering a career change, the Qatar National Tourism Council is offering residents the chance to gain one of 10 scholarships in a tourism online academy. To be eligible for one of the scholarships, you need to enroll in the QNTC's Introduction to Tourism Industry Management by May 31st. The Ministry of Public Health say there are 1,526 new COVID cases, 179 recoveries and no new additional deaths. And finally, Visit Qatar tweets that over 150 whale sharks will be gathering off of the coast of Qatar between April and September. And they're sharing these awesome images so you can visit Qatar from home. Enjoy!